Hi, it's Katrina. From rare gold figurines to lost shipwrecks worth millions, here are 11 amazing archaeological treasures that have been uncovered. Number 11. Tomb 7 at Monte Alban. The Mixtec people are considered to be some of the most extraordinary artisans of Mesoamerica. Dating back to around 1000 to 1697 AD, they occupied the areas of Oaxaca to Puebla and Tlaxcala in Mexico. They, along with some Zapotec people, were known to the Aztecs as cloud people since they lived high up in the mountains. One mountaintop archaeological site, the former city of Monte Alban, consists of numerous tombs used by the Zapotecs and the Mixtecs. Inside Tomb 7, there is a Zapotec chamber that the Mixtecs reused for one of their burials. Inside is full of objects made from precious materials, mostly sculptures made of gold, demonstrating their delicate skills and eye for detail. There are pectorals, or big gold chest plates, decorated with masks and faces of animals and deities. There are also countless necklaces, rings, bracelets, fan handles, nail protectors, and carved sculptures. Largely considered one of the richest archaeological finds of its time, Tomb 7 also contains nine skeletons, jade necklaces, bells, and other offerings. The Zapotecs originally built and lived at Monte Alban, which means White Mountain, where they built a ball court, temples, palaces, and more. The city at its peak had about 25,000 people, but was largely abandoned around 700 AD, when the royalty and priests left. Experts aren't sure why people left Monte Alban, but there are no signs of a military presence or warfare taking place. The Mixtecs arrived later on and repurposed the city as their own, adding to the buildings and architecture. Today, the site of Monte Alban, and especially Tomb 7, is one of the richest archaeological finds to date. Number 10. Mysterious Medieval Brooch in May 2019, a metal detectorist in Norfolk, England made quite the discovery when he found a 1,100-year-old medieval brooch in a truckload of topsoil that was used in a landscaping project. It was a lucky find for the discoverer, who came across the brooch on his third day exploring as an amateur metal detectorist. He originally thought that the artifact was Victorian, but he alerted authorities just in case, as is required by law in the UK, An archaeologist reported to the scene and correctly identified it as medieval. Dating back to the late 9th century, the silver disc was hailed by archaeologists as a discovery of national importance. Measuring roughly 3 inches in diameter, it features a cross and animals, and bears similarities to objects found in the nearby Pentney Hoard, which was discovered in 1978 and contained six brooches. It looks to me that they were made by the same craftsman or in the same workshop, Stephen Ashley, Norfolk County Council's senior finds archaeologist, told the BBC. But nobody knows exactly where the soil the recently discovered brooch was found in came from, and it's likely that researchers will never determine the location of the artifact's origin. I think it would be very hard to trace the provenance of the brooch now, Ashley said. I think it will remain a mystery. Have you ever used a metal detector? It seems like a lot of fun! Let me know in the comments below! Number 9. Roman Shipwreck Graveyard the recently announced discovery of a Mediterranean ship graveyard that archaeologists detected using sonar back in 2009 is shedding light on the Roman world of 2,000 years ago. There are five trading boats that make up the graveyard sitting on the seafloor near the Italian island of Ventotene, 328 feet beneath the water's surface. This makes them some of the deepest wrecks ever discovered in the Mediterranean. They are all in pristine condition, despite dating all the way back between the 1st century BC and the 5th century AD. The ships were likely heading toward Ventotene to anchor during rough weather, as was customary for seafaring vessels to do at the time. But they succumbed to the rough seas before they could reach safety and sank to the bottom of the sea, where they've remained untouched ever since. According to researchers, the sunken trading ships were carrying wine from Italy and fish sauce from Spain and North Africa, as well as a mysterious, unidentified cargo, perhaps supplies that may have been used for making weapons. In any case, these ships are in excellent shape. And now for number 8, but first want to give a big shout out to Zayden Michael James and Zelda Quattro for supporting this channel. If you are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the Origins Explained family. Number 8. Gothic Jewelry 
A collection of jewelry and ornaments dating back between the 1st and 4th centuries has been discovered in a village in Poland. Found in a Gothic cemetery in northern Poland, it has been declared to be as good as that produced by the Romans. Dr. Magdalena Natunowicz Sekula from Warsaw's Institute of Archaeology and Ethnology at the Polish Academy of Sciences was the leading archaeologist who analyzed the jewelry and ornaments found at the burial site. The artifacts were found in a cemetery that was used by the Goths, as well as an Eastern Germanic tribe called the Gepids. Altogether, the collection contains around 3,500 items that were buried with the dead, including precious and semi-precious metals, as well as clay, glass, and amber objects. Dr. Natunievich Sekula's analysis revealed a high level of expertise in metalwork and crafting, including silver pieces that are between 92 and 97 percent pure, and other objects made from ore purer than that which is used for modern jewelry. In fact, creating jewelry with these materials today would simply be too costly for most manufacturers. The metalsmiths who made these items were highly skilled in advanced and intricate techniques, such as granulation and filigree. These findings conflict with the long-held stereotypical view that so-called barbarian jewelry was of inferior quality compared to the Romans. After all, they were barbarians! They also suggest that bullion bars were imported to the region from the Roman Empire despite a strict ban, as evidenced by a lack of equipment that would have been used for refining the materials that the jewelry was made with, or that the Goths somehow had other sophisticated means of separating noble and base metals. Number 7. Neolithic Figurines Archaeological discoveries in the Near East from the early Neolithic period, which started during the 9th millennium BC, are very scarce. So when anything is found, it is automatically considered an archaeological treasure. There is very little information about what humans were doing and how they developed in this area. Luckily, an entire collection of flint artifacts were discovered at a site in Jordan. While they look like flint tools, when you look at them more closely, they actually look more like human forms. Were these early people carving the human figure? They were discovered in burials, leading the team to theorize that the artifacts are Neolithic figurines, made and then discarded during mortuary rituals and remembrance ceremonies involving human remains. But the meaning of the 10,000-year-old objects, which come in different shapes and sizes, is not truly known, and scientists are trying to discover their meaning. Definitively learning what the figurines were used for would be an important step to understanding the social and psychological changes that early societies in the region went through as they transitioned to agriculture-based communities. Number 6. Royal Bronze Age Tombs in late 2019, a team of American archaeologists from the University of Cincinnati, who were working in Greece's southern Peloponnese, near the ancient city of Pylos, announced the discovery of two 3,500-year-old Royal Bronze Age tombs filled with treasures near a palace from the Mycenaean era. Included among the finds were amethyst and amber items, as well as a gold ring featuring an engraved image of a bull surrounded by grain and a gold pendant bearing the likeness of an Egyptian goddess who protected the dead. Flakes of gold were also found in the tombs, suggesting that the floors were once covered in gold leaf. The team unearthed the dome-shaped tombs in 2018 as part of a two-year excavation project, and the process was nothing short of grueling, requiring the removal of around 40,000 stones, according to a statement from the Greek Ministry of Culture and Sports. As painstaking as the task was, the rubble was beneficial for the tombs because it made them inaccessible to grave robbers. The discovery offers invaluable insight into the Mycenaean civilization's early phases, during which time many of ancient Greece's myths and legends originated, including the story of the Trojan War. It has been 50 years since any substantial tombs of this sort have been found at any Bronze Age palatial site, Jack Davis, head of UC's Classics Department, told CNN. That makes this extraordinary. Number 5. Pre-Revolutionary Gem while excavating a colonial-era tavern dating back to the 1730s at the Brunswick Town slash Fort Anderson historic site and pre-revolutionary port in North Carolina, an archaeology student discovered a jewel inscribed with the words Wilkes and Liberty 45. Using ground-penetrating radar, the student at first thought he had simply found a pebble. Thankfully, he scrubbed it with a toothbrush and found what looked like some writing on the object. The student took the artifact to Charles Ewen, a professor at East Carolina University and the director of Phelps Archaeology Laboratory. 
Upon further inspection using a light table, macro lens, and camera, Ewan realized the thumbnail size pressed glass jewels worth. The phrase, Wilkes and Liberty 45, was an early slogan referencing revolutionist and journalist John Wilkes, who strongly and openly criticized British rule over what later became the United States. It was used by those who wanted to break away from King George III of Great Britain, symbolizing the beginnings of the rebellious spirit that led to the American Revolution. The jewel was once attached to a pair of cufflinks, and the inscription it bears first served as a secret message against British rule during the 1760s, and an inconspicuous way for revolutionists to identify each other, and it ultimately became a rallying cry of opposition as the movement for American independence grew. Number 4. $394 million Shipwreck Hoard Back in 1804, a treasure-laden ship called the Nuestra Señora de las Mercedes sank off Portugal's Cape St. Mary during a battle. The wreck was discovered in 2007 by Odyssey Marine Exploration. The U.S.-based salvage company raised 594,000 gold and silver coins, totaling a value of roughly $394 million, and sent the treasure to Tampa, Florida. Subsequent dives led by Cartagena's National Museum of Underwater Archaeology, or ARCWA, which is managed by Spain's Culture Ministry, began in 2014. The first of three expeditions so far yielded thousands of artifacts as researchers ventured into the heart of the ship, including anchors, iron and bronze cannon, copper and tin ingots, a silver dinner service and cutlery, silver candlesticks, a gold pestle, and others, according to a report from the University of Warsaw. The treasures show what early 19th century life was like, making their scientific and historic value immeasurable. Researchers believe the ship sank before Spain joined France in the Napoleonic Wars against Britain, which started after the breakdown of the 1802 Treaty of Amiens between France and Britain. Number 3. Rare Viking Artifacts Climate change is revealing previously undiscovered artifacts in many parts of the world as glaciers, permafrost, and other long-frozen ice melts for the first time in centuries or longer. One such place is Norway, where archaeologists discovered a so-called treasure trove of rare artifacts earlier this year along a forgotten mountain pass. The winding path of the Lendbreen Glacier contains hundreds of remarkably well-preserved objects dating back to the Viking Age, the Roman Iron Age, and the Bronze Age. The finds, which are detailed in the journal Antiquity, include clothing, fabric, shoes, horseshoes, tools, riding gear, a walking stick, animal bones, and dung, all offering valuable glimpses into daily life in the region during the past, as well as the challenges and necessity of mountain travel. Situated between 5,500 and 6,300 feet above sea level, the disappearing glacier's artifacts and the long hidden trail they are scattered along first appeared in 2011. The items which were discovered between then and 2015 remained well preserved due to spending centuries encased in ice and thanks to the region's dry, frozen climate. Carbon dating shows that the trail was continuously used between 300 and 1500 AD and that it peaked during the Viking Age, around 1000 AD. Travelers likely abandoned used and unwanted objects as well as dead animals along the trail as they pushed forward in the harsh environment. Other items were likely lost. One mystery, according to archaeologists, is why people seem to throw away perfectly usable goods, including clothing. Experts suggest that irrational behavior resulting from severe hypothermia could explain this. The details of more recent discoveries in 2019 of numerous artifacts in the area, including a leashed dog, have yet to be officially described. Number 2. Magical Iron Age Treasure the earliest example of Iron Age gold ever discovered in Britain was found in 2016 in Staffordshire, England by treasure hunters Mark Hamilton and Joe Kanya. They were ready to give up after a long day of absolutely zero luck when Kanya announced that he thought he spotted something. That something turned out to be a mud-covered collection of jewelry, including a bracelet and four twisted metal neckbands called Torx. Harboring the sneaking suspicion that they had encountered extremely valuable artifacts, the pair vowed to keep the items safe until they turned them into experts. Hamilton said he slept with the items right next to his bed before relinquishing them to the Portable Antiquities Scheme in Birmingham. It was then that the duo learned that their discovery could be worth hundreds of thousands of pounds. 
Experts were impressed, to say the least, including Dr. Julia Farley, the British Museum's curator of British and European Iron Age collections, who lauded the unique find as being of international importance. In Dr. Farley's words, the treasure dates back to around 400 to 250 BC and is probably the earliest Iron Age gold work ever discovered in Britain. She further explained that the jewelry likely belonged to wealthy and powerful women, who probably migrated to the area from mainland Europe to marry prominent figures within the community. Number 1. 4,000 Year Old Paintings Starting back in 2001 at Tel El Burak, an archaeological site in southern Lebanon, a Lebanese and German team of archaeologists from the American University of Beirut and the University of Tübingen discovered a series of fresco paintings that are believed to be the oldest in the Mediterranean region. The well-preserved artwork was found at an ancient palace, with the most recent discoveries taking place in 2019. The images depict the Tree of Life, an ancient symbol of fertility and growth, as well as a procession and hunting scenes. Researchers remarked that the murals are important because they show that early fresco-making techniques were not just developed in Europe, but in the Near East. The images were made using Egyptian blue, a pigment dating back to around 3000 BC. Its use is indicative not only of the mural's possible age, but of the trading ties that once existed between ancient Egypt and the region's inhabitants, who are thought to be ancestors of the Phoenicians. The murals, along with the recent discovery of the oldest known Phoenician wine press, show that experts have a long way to go when it comes to fully understanding the region's past and the people who once occupied it. Thanks for watching! Which archaeological treasure or artifact was your favorite? If you have any exciting topic ideas for future videos, be sure to share them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time!